Australia is the driest inhabited continent on the planet and the third largest consumer of water. My name is Adam Ferguson and I'm a National Geographic photographer. Finnish and National Geographic have sent me an assignment to explore where our water goes and what we can all do to help prevent it from running out. Our demand for water is fast outstripping supply. It's a crisis that is being felt across Australia, from rural communities to cities. Perth's water availability has shrunk almost 90% since 1974, and Sydney has recently entered level one restrictions after dam levels dropped from 95 to 53% over two years. Water is trickling into the dams, but it's pouring out of our taps. I'm in the Hunter region, one of Australia's most drought-stricken areas, just a few hours north of Sydney. I've been photographing the devastating effects of water shortage, and today I'm in the town of Murundi. During the hot, dry summer, the town was reduced to just a few weeks' water supply. The council has been forced to truck in water from 40 kilometres away to keep the taps running. Conserving water has become the town's number one priority. To have water that just comes out of the tap when you turn it on is a real privilege. Pages River runs through Marundi, which used to supply the town reliably on its own. Over time, we're seeing less water running down the river. This is now the lowest that it's ever been. The highest level of water restrictions have been in place for a year or so now, keeping consumption as low as possible. Can you tell me a bit about what those water restrictions look like and how they impact the community? In a nutshell, it boils down to just the bare essential water consumption. It's taking shorter showers, it's only doing full loads of laundry, full loads in your dishwasher, water to drink, water to clean and water for cooking. The next step is to build a pipeline from the water supply system. But we expect that when the pipeline's on and that water is suddenly available, that's not going to mean that people's behaviour changes overnight, particularly in the community of Murundi when they know full well how scarce water can be and what it's like to not have access to it. Even though Murundi is an extreme example, it's a harbinger of what could happen in towns and cities across our country. Australia's water usage averages 340 litres per person per day compared to a 214 litre global average, but it's pretty easy to save water at home. We can start by remembering the basics, like taking shorter showers, turning off the taps when brushing our teeth and washing our hands. And we can go further by fitting low pressure faucets in our kitchens and bathrooms, which could cut usage by as much as 30% and we can better utilise the facilities we already have in our homes. A dishwasher uses only 10% of the water used washing dishes in the sink because it filters and recycles as it runs. And there's no need to pre-rinse. Let the machine and the detergent do the work. It's these actions, replicated across all our communities, that will make a big difference to Australia's water crisis and ultimately to global water security. Wherever we live and whatever our access to water, when we start to think of every drop as valuable, we change our behaviours from the way we wash ourselves, our homes and even our dishes. <laughs>